Premiere Pro combining multiple sequences. Once you have uh, put together some individual uh, edits of your animation moving forward, let's just say, um, and then you have a separate sequence where it's moving uh, stage left or stage right, leave it there. Um, you're going to want to bring them all into one project um, if they aren't already. So I'm going to create a new uh, uh, project and then a new, a new project and then a new sequence. And I've already, I've already brought everything in here, but I'll walk you through the process. So I've created uh, a new sequence called Everything. As you can see, it's currently blank. And then I went ahead and did File Import. And I located my different individual uh, projects. So I had a walk away, a walk forward, um, and I click on those projects. And when I, um, when I hit import, it's then going to give me a dialog box and ask me if I want to bring in the entire project or just the selected sequences. If I click on selected sequences, I'll then get an opportunity um, to choose which sequences I want to bring in. So here I've brought in the, the four um, primary, away, stage left, stage right, and toward. Um, so I'm in my new sequence, and I'm going to start with my walking toward. You can do it in any order you want, as long as it makes sense. And I'm going to grab this sequence and drag it out onto the new timeline. Uh, now the default will usually show up as a nested sequence, meaning that your individual edits um, have now been kind of the equivalent of grouped together like an illustrator. If I wanted to edit that, I would double click on it and it would bring me into uh, my toward sequence. Um, and then I could do individual edits and then go back to um, my nested sequence. Um, so I'm going to start to bring those together. So I've got my walk toward. Then I'll do, I can do stage left or stage right. I'll do my stage right and bring that in. Now, um, it happened to a couple of you accidentally. Um, it's possible that what you'll see is if you, if you bring your sequence in and you see all of your, your edits included in it, uh, that's just because of this little, this little button here. Um, so if you want to get rid of that, um, you'll just undo that and then make sure that this button is um, uh, is highlighted here. And then when I bring in my stage right, I'll put it right next to that. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of space because that's where I'm going to put my three-quarter view. So if you haven't already, you want to go to File, Import, and locate your Photoshop file of your three-quarter view. I'm going to bring that in. And I'm going to need to reduce the size of that. Length, I mean. Okay. And Sorry, I forgot to do my ripple edit. So I'm going to control click, go to speed duration, turn on the ripple, go to four, and say OK. okay. So now I'm going from forward sideways. I'm going to need to set my scale frame so it moves down. And then I'm going to want to be sure that the figure is relatively the same size and in the same place. So I'll select that uh, three-quarter view, double click it, and I can scale it up. And then I can go back and forth and see how I like the transition. Most important would be that the feet be in a location where they would naturally be pivoting. And then in a little bit I'll bring the, the background in. Uh, so I'll go back up to my stage right and I can bring that in and put it next to my three-quarter view. And then um, just want to make sure that that also makes a smooth transition. So I'm going from uh, the take of walking forward to the three-quarter to the stage right. And now I can choose, I've got two different backgrounds here, so I can decide which background I want to use for the three-quarter pivot. Um, in this case, I'm going to have him pivot from this location. So I'm going to, uh, I can either go over here and find my, my toward, or I can double-click on this. 
and then I'm going to go to the last frame because that's where that last clip was right before he pivots and I'm going to grab onto that background clip and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to come back to my together file. Now I'll have to move all of these up one because I'm going to put the background underneath here and then if I put my um, my marker here then when I do a paste should put it in right there in the same place. Um, then I can just scooch in a little bit and make the two match up. So now I should have, you see how that background is the same? Now if I go back a little ways in this, um, so he should update. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and render this and then it should start playing and if it's not on a loop I can set the loop here. So those are my first two edits put together. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and add my next three quarter view and after that um, the walk away and then another three quarter view and um, and the stage left. And then after that another three quarter view that prepares it to coming back to the walking towards. Um, so I have one that I've already put together here so we can take a look at that. Um, so here he's walking forward then he turns and walks off to the right. As I go down the timeline I've got the three quarter turning that way and then he turns and walks away. And now there was a little something extra I added here. So once you get this basic uh, walking full circle, uh, you can go ahead and, and save this project and you should be saving all along. And then you can do a save as and decide if you want to um, create some added effects. Um, and I'll come back to that in the next video.